Let me ask you something. What do you do when your database needs to handle AI-powered search, recommendations, or even image recognition? If you're working with traditional data types, you're probably forcing a square peg into a round hole. And that's where the new vector data type in MariaDB comes in. MariaDB has officially leveled up, making it easier than ever to store, search, and query high-dimensional vector data right inside your database. Why does this matter for AI and machine learning? And how can you use it in your projects? Picture this. It's 2023, and you're tasked with building an AI-driven product recommendation system. Sounds exciting, right? But here's a catch. Your database doesn't understand vectors. You start by embedding your product data into vectors using a machine learning library. Easy enough. But when it comes to storing those vectors, that's where the headaches begin. You try storing them as blobs. Works okay, until you realize you can't run any meaningful queries. So you turn to JSON arrays. Great, except querying becomes a nightmare. Now you're writing complex SQL to manually compare vectors and performance. Let's just say your app feels like it's running on dial-up. Eventually you give up and move all the heavy lifting to Python with libraries like NumPy and Scikit-learn. Sure, it works, but now you've got two systems to maintain, your database and your machine learning pipeline. Every query is an API call away and latency starts piling up. Sound familiar? This was the reality for anyone trying to integrate AI-driven features into their application until MariaDB introduced the vector data type. Okay, let's start simple. What's a vector and why does MariaDB care about it? In technical terms, a vector is just a sequence of number. These numbers could represent anything. A word's meaning in the natural language processing, an image's key feature, or even user preferences in a recommendation system. Until now, databases weren't designed to handle this type of data natively. You'd have to store it as a blob or hack it into some other column type. Or worse, pay for a commercial option. But the vector data type is specifically optimized for storing and querying these multi-dimensional arrays, making it perfect for AI-driven workloads. Why should you care? If you're working in AI or machine learning, you're dealing with vectors all the time. Think about recommender systems, matching users to products based on similar behavior, image searches, finding visually similar pictures, text similarity, comparing documents or chat messages. Traditionally, you'd need to pull vector data out of your database and process it with an external tool like Python's NumPy. That's slow and messy. MariaDB's vector support brings all that power in your database. And the best part, you can now run approximate nearest neighbor searches directly in MariaDB, meaning you can quickly find vectors that are close to each other's without extra tools. Here's how you can start using the vector data type in MariaDB. Step one, define your table. First, create a table with a vector column. The vector 128 means each vector will have 128 dimensions. Step two, insert some data. You can insert vectors directly. Step three, run a similarity search. The real magic happens with A and N searches. Here, smaller equal greater is the cosine distance operator, which finds the vectors closest to your target. You're keeping up? Let's connect the dots. Imagine you're building a search engine for an e-commerce platform. Instead of relying only on keywords, you can let users upload photos, find visually similar products, and get recommendations, all powered by vector search in MariaDB. Or maybe you're handling chatbots. By embedding customer queries into vectors and searching for similar embedding in your knowledge base, you can give smarter, faster responses without ever leaving your database. 